Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to this very special episode of Soul to Soul. It's special because this is our 21st episode, as well as being our second Blue Moon special. And to celebrate, we've put together this video of the show so you can watch as well as listen to this episode of Soul to Soul. In this special presentation of Soul to Soul, we take you on a journey of both sound and vision as Patricia and I guide you through an open-eyed meditation focusing on entanglement. So now, sit back, relax, and keeping your eyes open, let us together explore the webs we weave energetically. This is Entanglement. When one entangles oneself to the whole of an entirety of itself, one can then resume within all this uttermost circumstance that surrounds each and every one. The concept of entanglement, although seemingly quite new through the science of quantum physics, is actually quite an old concept concept that goes way back in the history of human thought. To conceive a behavioral pattern that best stimulates every single one's being in itself is how all are best becoming all that I am in this whole light configuration that is who we are as one whole light configuration in itself. The illusion is that we're separate. The illusion is that we're alone We are interconnected like gossamer threads of energy which come from us and pass through us and interlink us with all entanglement. The thesis of one's life speculation is of quite astounding proportion to each and every one now fully performant 
upon this whole world conception as it is to best become this one of grand acclamation one must behold such a space where all are of this full on exclamation of life we all have so desire to best portray as our own life performance in itself and for all that i am The idea is, is that you are a unique frequency of energy, as are all other energies, unique frequencies of energy. And as you align your thoughts, as you align your energy to a particular frequency, thus you reach out to it, and it thus then responds. because you're vibrating at the same rate at the same frequency and thus you become energetically entangled what a light procedure all of this surely outcome is to all one is to all that i am for when one discovers such a way of being one then best commemorates all of these life encounters of so many times so many consequences so many objectives of self realizations that we all set out to best become in order to attain this momentum that we are now as a world best achieving in itself so this high performance of light that we are and revel in as one is of such intensity that all that i am simply shivers in delightful repercussions of tremendous love throughout the spectrum of uttermost realizations of all living beings out there in this full world of love and light filled circumstances that all can simply best decide to occur in their own spaces of love
And so the question is asked, if I become entangled with someone, am I stuck there? Am I forever linked to this other frequency of energy? And of course the answer is no. Entanglement is an extension of your focus. Where the focus goes, the energy flows. Where the focus goes, the energy flows. And so as soon as you take your focus from that frequency and place it upon another, thus you become unentangled with that and then entangled with the new frequency of your focus. It's like shaking hands. You shake a hand and you shake another hand, looking into the face of the person whose hand you're shaking. Where the focus goes, the energy flows. This is how you become entangled. Also, how you control your experiences of entanglement. As we all observe the consequential effects of one's own beingness within a much grander reality fixing objective, then all begin to see these most profound sights of life many had yet to even consider. But when one adjusts one's own glaze of recognition, then all begin to see these new ways of being, these new concepts that are forever present all around every single one. So now we are observing this in many surrounding each and every one for their glaze has begun to change towards new destinations of observance of discrepancies of attitudes of behavioral systems out there of life preserving effects of graceful circumstances of summited evidential effects when one begins to see one observes such consequential effects to the whole of one's existence and that is also what has begun this world what has come to be a true reality fixing device in this world so now this occurrence of high conceptualization is forever present in each one's sight to see 
and to behold within each and every one's own graceful circumstance surrounding each and every one of this whole life conception in itself. And so the question is put forward. Can I be entangled with more than one person? Can I be entangled with more than one frequency of energy? And of course the answer is yes. For we are multi-dimensional beings and in truth are in entanglement with the whole of creation. Those bits of creation that you're aware of being entangled with are the ones that you are focused on. Where the attention goes, the energy flows. It's like having an array of objects in front of you. You're aware that there's an array of objects in front of you, but you're only looking at one at a time. Or maybe two at a time, or three at a time. It is a choice of where you decide to place your focus. And thus it is with our connection with all of creation. So to be, to see, is to regard all as one, as one being of delightful consequence to all that I am. One full on light evidential effect that all can observe all can best become in their own avenues of existence as each and every one thread these waters of such grand immensity with all perceptions they are most capable of assuming for each and every one of this whole world conception has occurred such spaces in many other ways, in many other times. And now, it is simply time to remember one's own full journey of life, one's own full exclamation of life, we all have become as one whole being of light. Now, how astounding is this to all that I am? And so it is.
as a child, I would often wander around the corridors of my home, imagining that there was a piece of string attached to the center of my back. As I would wander around, I would weave my web of string. And by the end of the day, I could tell how good my day had been by the patterns that my string would form. Of course, in the mind of a child, it was only string and it was only imagination. But what the child in me was tapping into was a latent knowledge that we do weave our webs energetically throughout our lives, creating entanglement. To be, to see, to fully acknowledge oneself, one must choose to see way beyond one's own system of this is one must choose to open one's gaze with uttermost delight and see and gaze beyond and fully grasp profound one is to all, how deep we lay as one, how absolutely beautiful we are as one. So when we come to realize this and we come to see this within our own unique perception, can you all imagine how amazing we are going to be looking at each other when we all come to see this place and gaze at each other. Can you see how amazing we are? As one full on light conception, and so it is. One full on light conception. This is 
who we are as one. So all can choose to be, to see this within each and every one. And at that point, this point, this now moment, it will occur every single other one for it only takes one to see this within the true depth of its own being then all will be able to see this within all of existence So now this moment is occurring. We are as one, all seeing this together. Now, how beautiful can this be to all that I am? in this one full regalia of light that we are in this full extension of one self and so it is And so the concept expands beyond the idea of just a single life entanglement with all that is. For you know also that there are alternate realities, alternate universes, alternate yous. For there are many lives. And you are entangled with all of them as well. You are entangled with yourself and expressing yourself through various many faces, many various experiences. All that energy, all that experience, all that life interconnected with each other with all that is the entanglement of creation the web of life the joy filled situation of one's own heart specification is there for all to observe and to take credit for to acknowledge deeply to bring it to a place where All one can say to all that I am is Thank you for being yourself And if one can say this to oneself One has found One's own truth. One has acknowledged fully, completely. 
one's love for the self. So I say to all, thank you for being yourself as I am myself in this full-on regalia of light that we are as one in this whole world conception as it is for all to best be and for all to best become in themselves and for all that I am and so it is so I'm here to tell you this that when you think of someone who is at a distance, that thought travels instantly. There's no time delay, no lag, it's instant. When you express concern or send energy or healing to someone who is at a distance, they receive it. And if they are open to your energy emissions, if they know that you are sending, if they are open to receiving, then the entanglement is stronger and clearer. This makes sense of psychic abilities. This makes sense of all those stories that have prevailed throughout the whole of human experience and history. What we've been experiencing, what has been happening, which has always happened and will continue to happen, is that we are entangled with each other because we are all part of the oneness of creation. We are one. A sweet story of such speculative ideas of oneself is so very often a story of one's own true perfected desires within such and such circumstances of life unfoldings in itself. So to sweetly acknowledge these stories of such high enlightened state of being. One must choose to acknowledge this sweetness in many other objectives of one's own self in order to bring a full-on acclamation of this sweetness in all parts of one's own being one's own beingness in itself. So sweetly we can be, sweet outwardly we can also be this to all. So this full concession of light is one where sweetness and kindness reigns no matter what one has so desired to pursue in itself for all are of astounding positioning within the wholeness of this being 
all are part of this full extensive behavior that has accumulated over years and lifespans and existences in itself. So when one begins to see the sheer proportion of one's own endeavor of life, then the sheer propensity of it all best becomes oneself. And then one self comes to realize that we simply cannot be anything else, for we are all that we are as one, full like configuration in itself. This proposition of life and of light can summit all experiences in as many ways as anyone so desires to experience. It is simply a matter of one deciding upon the uttermost consequence one is looking forward to fully realizing within oneself. So this acclamation of light is most certainly there for all to experience and to bring forward in their own choosing and in their own way of existing. And so it is for all that I am for all that we are, for all of those of this, and for all of those of that, it is irrelevant to the wholeness for all I one simply experiencing joy after joy, after joy of ecstasy and full light configuration in itself. And so it is. And so the question was put, what if I was not happy with one of these threads of entanglement. What if I didn't want to be entangled with someone or something? Can I pull on those threads that annoy me, that bother me, can I pull them out of my tapestry? And the answer came, you can try, but as you pull on those threads, you unravel that matrix, that pattern, that weave that you created. For even the rough bits have a place, for even the bits that bother you have a place, for all those bits help to form your pattern, your energy frequency, your web of life. So in truth, we cannot pull the threads out, for the threads are ourselves. We can't live with the regret, for regretting something is like trying to pull the thread out of your tapestry. And the more you pull out, the more unraveled your life becomes. 
And so the advice is given. It is better to embrace all that you've experienced, whether you see it as positive or negative. See it for what it is. See how you've learned from it. See how you've grown from it. And embrace it for the experience that it's been. Embrace your tapestry. And if the pattern is not forming in a way which is not pleasing to your sensibilities, you have it within your grasp, within your abilities, within your power to redraw the tapestry of your life, the web of your life. Entanglement. Now to observe such a denomination of life that brings to all one is to all a most grand consequential event within the entirety of a whole systemic ease. One can then decide to observe on outer boundaries of existence all that can be experienced, all that can be observed in a new way of bringing it closer to one's heart perception. And as one lays those glasses of love upon one's seeing, One suddenly perceives this whole life system as a most mysterious space of so many new self-discoveries that the sheer exemplary effect of its peaked curiosity has had upon many a most uplifting way of best becoming. This new pattern of transition is much more graver than any can suspect. For when one steps into those shoes of self-recognition, one can stomp around quite a bit and dance on tippy toes of life exuberance for the sheer blindness of what is out there is so extravagant that few can even best begin to understand it, but all are trespassing quickly into such a space in order to see more and more and more because this whole 
light structurization is so intensive and extensive that no one can seem to hold back from wanting to run and speed up and gain knowledge of all that is out there simply put for every single one to see so we must apologize to all for this for these ones palpitating with life for this life palpitation brings us so much joy and exuberance that we sometimes have a hard time holding back but we are learning we are learning that not all are ready for such exuberance yet so we must learn to retain ourselves backwards a little bit and gain a sure footing of ourselves as we quietly continue our dance of life and hopefully secure many more spaces of delightful outcome with many other brothers and sisters of this light configuration that we behold as one. Now how exciting is this to all that I am? And so we bring this exercise, this experiment in light and sound to a conclusion. We thank you for coming on this journey with us. We hope that it has touched you in some place of resonance. And as we leave you, we wish you salutations for the week ahead and give you the promise of much more to come in the next episode of Soul to Soul. <laughs>